of sports to give thanks for. In November on Prime Sports, have the Rockets, Spurs, and Mavs over for a Thanksgiving basketball feast because you know they'll bring the stuffing. Next, you got to check this out because the Stars and Arrows will up the competition. Sooners ride into Austin on the coattails of an All-American candidate, forward Ryan Miner. He's the Big 8 scoring leader at almost 21 per game. Ranks in the top 10 in nine OU career categories and has hit for 10 or more points in 53 of 54 games. Not to be outdone by their interstate rivals, the Texas Longhorns counter with guard Reggie Freeman. He's the Southwest Conference scoring leader at 24 per game, topping 20 points in 13 of his last 16 games. It's a Red River shootout, hoop style, next. Center in Austin, Texas, Prime Sports presents NCAA Basketball. Tonight, a Big 12 preview. The Oklahoma Sooners face the Texas Longhorns. Hi everyone, I'm Bill Lang. Glad to have you with us as these two step out of their respective conference wars for a battle of their own tonight here in Austin. For Oklahoma, it's been a disappointing start. They've dropped their last four and they come in reeling at 10 and 8. On the other side, Texas not leading the league this year, but maybe a surprising 11 and 5 overall as Tom Penders has a very young ball club. Reed Geddes with us tonight. And Reed, when you look at this one, both these teams' fortunes seem to be tied to the shooting story. Yeah, it sure does. You know, and any time a team has lost four games in a row, they are starving for a win. And Kelvin Sampson doesn't, doesn't make any bones about it. He says, hey, we have got to shoot the basketball better. They're shooting 43.7%. And he said it's got to get better. But the crazy thing is Tom Penders would love to shoot 43.7. He said, hey, if I could get up to that, things would be great. But both teams are going to have to shoot the ball to win tonight. we got a couple of guys who are not shy about shooting it. We've got stars tonight if you're looking for that. For Oklahoma, Ryan Miner and Reggie Freeman of the Longhorns. Right, it's crazy. The last two days all I've heard about, Ryan Miner, oh, he's struggling, he's struggling. Well, for crying out loud, he's leading the big eight and scoring. He's going to be a lottery pick. I mean, every kid in the country wishes he was struggling like that. And for Texas, Reggie Freeman is as pure of an offensive player as you'll see anywhere in the country. But don't focus all of your attention on those two, because there's some pretty good backup performers tonight, if you will. For the Sooners, Ernie Abercrombie, and for Texas, big Sonny Alvarado. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, neither guy's a typical center. Abercrombie's 6'4". He's really about 6'3". Alvarado's 6'7". And look at the numbers. I mean, they are almost identical, and they play the exact same role. Both of them leading their conferences in rebounding. Ought to be a great matchup inside. Well, it's a great matchup anytime Oklahoma and Texas play. It doesn't matter if they're in the same conference or not. Stick around. We'll be back with OU with a 28-13 lead. Oklahoma leading 11-7 at the Irwin Center. Last year... Sooners and Norman, the worst road loss under Tom Pender's tenure at Texas. So there's some getting even to do there. And Texas wins the tip. Vasquez has it. A couple of youngsters have sparked this team recently. Chris Clack and Chico Vasquez, both freshmen from here in Austin. Interesting, OU opened up in a 3-2 zone, and they run it with a big guy out front. Ryan Miner at 6 foot 7 inches. They've got him out there on the point, but he's got those long arms to contest shots. Carlton Dixon getting his sixth start the season. The turnover comes back to the Sooners. Erdman in the backcourt for Oklahoma. There's Miner. Abercrombie back out and they'll restart with Foster to run the show. Tyrone Jr. out of White Plains, New York. Erdman back to Foster and to Miner. And to man. Here's Evans. 11 on the shot clock. Evans and he drains the 17 footer to make it a 2 0 start. Evans coming into the ball game, averaging seven points a contest. Well, Bobby Joe Evans hits that shot all night, and it's going to be a long night for the Longhorn. Six foot nine is 270 pounds. You know, he catches the ball and spots up at 18 feet. You say, oh, you know, shoot that one, big fella. Vasquez. To penetrate against the zone and back out to Freeman. Chico Vasquez is not known for his outside shooting, but the other night against SMU, he had a huge stance in the three-point line. Alvarado with a steal. Freeman with a twirl. Miner beats him the other way and uses the left hand nicely, and it's a 5-4 ball game, Texas. Oh, what a pass. Beautiful pass, super block, but with the body, Evans gets called for the foul. A credit to the freshman Chico Vasquez, a beautiful oh. bounce pass. Texas, you prepare for 
this. All week long, you practice against the press, and nobody around I've seen in a long time is as good at turning turnovers into points as Texas. I mean, for the year, they're forcing about 24 turnovers a game. Dixon at the line. He's coming off a 10.5 rebound performance in 22 minutes against Texas Tech. As Tom Penders sits back down with the Longhorns up by 1-5-4, and Dixon will get one more. Averaging seven points a contest, makes it a 6-4 game, Texas. Pressure on as expected from Texas. They have four of the Southwest Conference's top eight men in steals. Foster out front against Vasquez, and now the double team and a near steal. Last touch by Texas, and off the hands of Carlton Dixon. Kevin Sampson's done a great job with this offense. They're running just the basic old-fashioned UCLA 1-4 high post offense. Look, all the guys will be lined up, but then they do so much cross screens and down screens, and a lot of it are double screens for Ryan Miner on the weak side. In trouble, Irvin for the tray. Rebound comes off to Flat. Chris averaging 4.8 a game in that department. Quickly, and it's stolen the other way. Here comes Foster. Holds it up. Yeah, well, without a doubt, it's obvious what OU wants to do. They want to control the tempo. They'll take a clean shot. If they get a clean open shot, they'll take it. But they are not going to force things and make it an up-tempo basketball game. Back-to-back -back steals. Minor for three. And the rebound comes off, and a foul called. As coming down with it was Dixon. And the foul will be on Abercrombie. We've got 17-19 to go first half, 6-4. Texas has Calvin Sampson, 33-17 in his second year in Norman. Last year, a surprising 23-8. Appearance in the NCAA tournament and national coach of the year honors by basketball. Vasquez. Back out to Dixon. To retreat. Texas shooting at 40.7% from the floor. That is last in the Southwest Conference. The rebound comes off to Abercrombie, but they're averaging 73 shots a game, and that's where they usually make things up between that and the turnovers. Foster, he nails the three, and the Sooners take the lead. And that's the situation we were just talking about, Bill, that Kelvin Sampson wants him to take a shot if they're open. If it's a fast break, it's in transition. If you've got a clean shot, take it, but don't make any one-on-one -on -one moves to take that shot. Anytime you're going against a 3-2 zone, what you want to do is you want to flood one side, penetrate, and then where it's vulnerable is down on the wing on the, on the baseline. Freeman, nice move to the basket, and Texas regains the lead. 8-7, 16-11 to go, and Reggie Freeman with a bucket. Erdman to Miner, beats the press, three on one, dishes Abercrombie looking for the handle. One of the toughest passes in basketball to catch is a fast break bounce pass. It is just murderous to try to catch, and it's hard to throw. Ryan Miner's a good passer, and that time he sucked the defensive player over to him, but then threw it down around Abercrombie's ankles, and that's an impossible pass to pick up. Freeman with a miss. Got it back underneath from Alvarado. Freeman Vasquez tipped over here. You were going to pass it back, weren't you? Uh -uh. I was going to shoot. <laughs> you had to pass it up in your play. Oh, you you get that pass. That ain't get you anywhere. <laughs> Timeout is called. We'll take a break of the action with 15.43 to go in the half. 8-7, Texas. Early on here in Austin, more Southwest Conference basketball action coming up on Prime Sports. Saturday, it's Texas Tech, the league leader at Rice. That's at 5. Monday, we'll be in College Station for Baylor and Texas A&M. Then on Saturday, February 10th, 4 p.m. for the women, Houston at Rice. Check your local listings for games and times in your area. Well, Reggie Freeman, just a junior from the Bronx, New York. He only needed three points coming in tonight to get 1,000 for the career, and he has done so. He's the ninth player in Tom Pender's years here 
to get 1,000 points. There are only 10 total before Tom Penders arrived. That's incredible. 83 years of University of Texas basketball and only 10 players score 1,000 points. Penders has been here eight years and he's already had nine. They can light him up. Texas averaging 84.6 a game, second in the league under Tom Penders, outscoring their opponents by six. Oklahoma comes in averaging 79.3, outscoring its opponents by better than seven a game. Texas with the ball in the lead.